What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here. Today we're looking at the brand new Sonic Prime collectible figures by PMI Kids World. I completely forgot all about these. I didn't even know these were out until I saw a couple of people picking them up recently. I talked about these before, like the beginning of this year actually. And luckily enough, I was able to find them today. I got the full lineup here. These also come in blind boxes, but I ended up finding the full box sets here instead. So let's take a look at their packaging really quick. So we have this one right here because there are two of them. So there are going to be two of them. But this one, uh, we have these characters and there are like, uh, you know, like I guess the rare characters. This is what they say. Uh, it says find the two rare characters uh, hidden inside. So they're all here, but you can kind of look at them from this side. Now at the top, we just got Sonic Prime. We got Sonic right here. Netflix 16 to collect. And then uh, this is what they call it, collectible figures. Now let me actually show this one off. So this one has the other characters, as you can see. And everything is about the same. Uh, everything in this box is about the same. Everything's the same. As you can see, there's like nothing at the bottom. Uh, let's actually just show them off one at a time. But uh, here's the side. Uh, you just got a shot of Sonic. And then here is the other side which really just shows all the characters you know to collect and then here is the back really which really just kind of shows uh you know just the license and everything like that nothing else and then along with this side it's about the same thing as you can see so yeah so that was the packaging right there guys so without further ado let's go ahead and crack these out of the packaging and take a closer look Okay, so here are all the figures out of their packaging. Now, I actually like divided it here. So we have everyone from like New York City and then this is from the uh, Boss Cage Maze uh, Dimension. Uh, and then I have the others like to the side over here from just the original dimension really. But let's actually just start off with the original. So we have a two and a half inch, uh, just a regular normal Sonic right here. Now they, um, they don't have any articulation, so just just keep that in mind. They're really just like cake toppers. That's usually what I'm gonna go with here. That's really what they kind of are, and they're really like cheap. You know, they don't have like all the pain apps. Uh, this isn't really a good example. This Sonic is okay, but some of them <laughs> are really the best. But this is uh, their Sonic figure right here, um, and I think there's other ones where some of them have like articulation, like in a different pack. But this one is one without it. So, let me grab the one from Jax. That's mainly what I'm going to be doing here for the most part. I'm really just going to be doing some comparison as we go. But here's the Jax Pacific Sonic figure uh, compared to the PMI one. So you can see the difference. With like uh, more of like the paint. But, you know, they do still scale just a little bit. This one is slightly smaller. Now, we have Shadow right here. <laughs> this one isn't really the best. So this is just Shadow. You know just plain shadow really but uh <laughs> you know the paint is like just it's, it's just like all over the place really like there's no paint apps at all with this guy but i would i wouldn't say no paint but it's just that he's missing a lot really it kind of reminds me of like that old like tomi gotcha shadow figure if you guys remember those <laughs> so yeah look at this shadow let me bring in uh the jacks one right here so as you can see like he only has like the one red paint on one of his quills and then that's about it but um uh, yeah and then he doesn't have any like any uh, of the red on his shoes so yeah <laughs> so yeah it's just things like that which is why i want to do comparisons which is funny about that uh i'm gonna start with the the new york city so here is the rusty rose figure right here and then here is the Jax one that I actually just reviewed recently. And this one is still taller, as you can see. It's a whole lot taller and a whole lot better too. <laughs> but yeah. All right, so let's move Rusty to the side. We got one of Eggman's robots. This one is okay. It's not too bad. Uh, articulation would have been nice, but I think this one's okay. It is like able to like stand. I thought it was gonna fall back. I didn't want them to all like fall back if that was gonna happen. But um, you know, it, it can stand. This is okay. This one doesn't really look too bad. I would like to see this in like the 
the um the five inch range from Jax, and then you can like kind of army build with this guy but uh yeah i thought this one was okay so yeah we got uh one of eggman's robots and then let's actually bring in mr dr eggman anyway but here's uh mr dr eggman i think mr dr eggman is probably the tallest out of everyone here he's still not gonna like have all the pain of course but um you know we got that and then let me compare it to the jacks one the regular one he's a whole lot taller <laughs> so yeah like i said man these are basically like cake top uh cake toppers to me uh let's start off with renegade nux right here and then you know what mine as well uh here is gnarly knuckles so here's how they all look And then we got to bring in the Jax one right here. So they don't scale too far apart. This one is, of course, still bigger. Let me actually put them in the middle. That would be a whole lot better. This is okay. It's kind of cool because uh, I got the, you would have like the regular one and then you would have uh, Renegade Nux and then Gnarly Nux and then... Uh, you also have the uh, Knuckles the Dread from the No Place Dimension. So you would have all four of the Knuckles Dimensions in the like this scale. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, we got those. Um, here is nine. Uh, this nine is okay. It's not too bad. Uh, these, I wish, I don't know why they're like black. But, you know, you got that and a nine got like this device right here here is the, the jacks one right here so yeah I don't think this nine is that bad I think it's all right obviously it's not gonna have all the details but it, it's all right I think it's just okay some of these are like okay but some of them are like really really bad <laughs> uh, here we have dr. don't I believe that's his name and this one's actually not too bad either um, I think what's really cool about these, uh, and these are probably the only like good things about these, is that I feel like it's like just in case Jax doesn't end up making some of these characters, these are kind of like a placeholder. So that's kind of where I am right now. But this is Doctor Dome. Um, I think the head sculpt is okay. He might be missing some some details around uh, the attire. Uh, here we have Sonic, the uh, from uh, New York City. He's kind of like in his stance right here. Here is uh, the Jax one right here. So you have that. And of course, uh, no paint at the, uh, the back of the shoes on this one. All right. Uh, here we got um, Rebel Rouge. And then let's see bring in the Jax one over here so there you go and her wings are actually folded here they're not like you know like spread out all right so here we have is mangy tails I believe that's what they call them mangy or I think it is mangy I can't remember um, but he's like in this crawling stance right here um, so yeah you got that again no articulation with these guys um, we got Thorn Rose. Uh, like I said, some of the paint on these is so like weird. Like her mouth isn't even painted. So, yeah. Very, very weird. Uh, and then we have um, Hangry Cat. I think that was his name there. So we got Hangry Cat. He doesn't have any of like the the dirt or anything around him at all. You know? It kind of just looks like big, but he's like wrapped up in, in you know, all this stuff right here. And then uh, we got Froggy, which doesn't really scale with Hangry. <laughs> so, <laughs> you have that. Uh, I can't see if he scales, um, if the Froggy scales with the Jacks big. So this is how it looks. As you can see. So yeah. All 
all right guys that is going to wrap up this review on the pmi sonic prime collectible figures definitely not the greatest here for me they're kind of just there until one of them end up being made by jack specific that's really where i'm standing here wasn't a fan of these when they were first revealed and still not a fan of them now some of them are okay in my opinion some of them are okay but i did want to review them because i'm sure some of you were probably curious about how these were when we first talked about them so let me know what you guys think about these in the comments down below but thank you all so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed the review if you want to know where i got mine i picked mine up at fye i don't know if these are being sold anywhere else i wouldn't be surprised if amazon had these as well but once again thank you so much for watching and i will definitely catch you guys in the next video Take care, my friends.